I suppose if it were summarised, James, the soil moisture de deficits have more or less disappeared now. Grass growth should be back to, to normal. So, you know, we're going back to normal fertiliser rates that, you know, three quarters to one unit uh, of nitrogen per acre per day. Uh, good opportunity on some clover swords maybe to even get out some watery slurry and re replace some of that chemical uh, nitrogen, so not watery slurry like parlor washings, etc. Something like that we can pull back clover as a second half player, so we can pull back on that. Um, yeah, grass growth is increasing, so that gives us more opportunity to tidy up paddocks, especially by taking them out as bales, which probably some bales have been fed, lots of bales have probably been fed over the last six weeks, so good chance to get feed made on the farm. And just a couple of things then, we also have the Grassland Farmer of the Year competition. We have some walks upcoming. We have one in Leash next uh, Thursday on Mike Walsh's farm. He was a mixed soils, so heavy soils winner. And we've also the Grassland Farmer of the Year competition. It's open this year. So we know there's lots of good grassland managers out there and we'd be encouraging them to apply for the Grassland Farmer of the Year competition. If you look at this week's Grass 10 newsletter, uh, you'll get the details there.